Schema 2025 opened with Lord Dynamic Creason, Figma's chief design officer, and was hosted by VP of product Paige Costello. Engineers Naomi Jung and Edward M announced major performance improvements to design systems. Actions like updating variables or switching modes are now 30 to 60% faster thanks to a complete rewrite of the underlying architecture. Extended collections launch in November for enterprise users. They let design system authors publish a core system that teams can extend with brand specific themes. Extended collections stay synced with the parent system while maintaining custom overrides. Slots are coming soon to early access. They're placeholder containers inside components that let you add and customize instances without detaching. You can specify which instances a slot accepts to ensure design system compliance. PM Tara Nadella introduced Check Designs, a new linter entering early access for organization and enterprise plans. It audits designs before handoff, surfaces hard-coded values, and uses a custom model to suggest the correct variables from your design system. Jake Alba introduced Code Connect UI updates rolling out this week to organization and enterprise plans. The UI offers component mapping suggestions, AI-generated code snippets from your source files, and MCP usage instructions to provide design system context for agentic coding workflows. Ethan Ma demoed MakeKits, entering early access for all paid plans. MakeKits convert Figma libraries into React code components and CSS files for use in Figma Make. You can import variants and use Make AI to edit the generated code. Teams can also import public React NPM packages into Make on any plan, private packages on paid plans rolling out in November. Chad Bergman introduced native import and export for variables through JSON files available in November. This follows the Design Tokens W3C Community Group 1.0 spec. The variables authoring modal is also getting a full screen redesign to show all subscribed collections while you work. Variable mode limits increase this week. Professional plans get 10 modes per collection. Organization plans get 20. Klasanda Grandison from Alaska and Hawaiian Airlines discussed navigating brand mergers with empathy and craft. Nathan Curtis explored how slots enable experimental design while maintaining system consistency. Rachel Bean from Google presented on building infinitely scaling design systems like material design. Matt Fickner predicted AI will make design systems invisible, letting designers focus on craft over configuration. Elin Lee emphasized that accessibility adoption succeeds when it's easy to rally around. Siddharth Kulkarni from Coinbase showed how their internal MCP servers let employees quickly request design system information and prototype using AI agents. Lastly, Dylan Field, CEO of Figma, closed schema by sharing his excitement for the future of design, noting that the systems being built today are defining the next generation of software. Which of these features will you try first? Leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.